If you had a BRCA1 or BRCA2 mutation, we'd want to start doing MRIs at the age of 25. And some women are surprised when their mutation is found at 40. And man, I should have been, you know, getting watched more carefully from early on. So the enhanced surveillance is just seeing you every six months for an exam and then alternating mammograms with MRIs after the age of 30, but doing MRIs yearly before the age of 30. For some women and some gene mutations, we talk about taking a medicine to reduce the risk of developing cancer. And these are mutations that are associated with the risk for what we call estrogen receptor positive breast cancer. And we have a list of those. We kind of understand which uh, patients this would be right for. So you take a medicine like tamoxifen or for a postmenopausal woman, there's other medications to lower the estrogen. For genes like BRCA1 and BRCA2, where there's a high risk of ovarian cancer, we're interested in talking about removing the ovaries around the age of 40. That has the added benefit of reducing breast cancer risk, especially for the BRCA2 mutation carriers. It's a good thing to consider because the ovarian cancers are real sneaky. Um, they tend to be beyond the ovary by the time we diagnose them, so we'd much rather do the oophorectomy, which is the surgery to remove the tubes and the ovaries um, before that ever happens. We always discuss lifestyle changes initially, trying to maintain an ideal body weight. I am a big fan of a low carb diet and um, lots of exercise. There's some evidence that that actually delays breast cancer in BRCA1 carriers. We talk about taking medicines to reduce the risk of estrogen receptor positive breast cancer. We talk about surgery, removing the ovaries, which reduces ovarian cancer risk, improves the chances of living long, and also reduces breast cancer risk for some patients with certain mutations. And then we talk about removing the breasts to nearly eliminate the risk of breast cancer.